Hey homies, welcome back to a new analog horror video. So today we are looking into a new analog series uh, called YGW Catalog Volume 1. Go and follow the creator. I have linked them in the description. They're currently sat at 13 subs. Let's see if we make it to 20 uh, by uh, the end of tomorrow. Let's see what we can do. So yeah, go and check them out. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please like and also consider subscribing. I'll see you in a mo. The one thing, right, that I love doing about these videos, especially when it's like a new creator that's done their first analog horror video or series or whatever, you never know what to expect. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. So let's get straight in. Go. Alrighty. Subtitles on. Okay. We've got two faces here. Lovely. Bit creepy, dude. So, oh. your name is Mr. Janitor Blocks. Okay, so we're Jennifer Blocks. Janitor Blocks? Jennifer Blocks? Very interesting name you got. To the point, please. I don't have all day. <laughs> I bet you like that in my intro, ain't you? I bet you like, right, right, just get to the bloody point, all right? I don't have all day to watch a video, so can you just get to the point now? I can totally relate. So, we have called you here. Regarding past events. Hey, okay, what events are they? <clears throat> days ago. Okay. We are talking the gruesome murders. Gruesome murders? Do you know what it is? Am I right? I'm afraid I did hear about it. Yeah. The tragedy that was. Tragedy? So, we would just like to gather facts here. Because your association, in some way, according to our evidence, might be somehow involved. Oh, God. So this guy obviously works <clears throat> for the association. They're involved in some murders. Ugh. Happened a couple of days ago. Who got murdered then? Can, uh, can you give us some info? Please? Moody's murder. Well, no. You see here, my association runs pretty smoothly, and we don't mm. interact with many people outside. We risk here to roughly just the way we are supposed to. Yeah. So, do they do it on the inside instead, then, maybe? Yeah, well, according to my files here, I don't think your facility meets the requirements Ooh. for safety, too. That's not good. So it doesn't really... I could get shut down. ...evidence of you that might uh, point out to what you said here, that you don't interact with many people outside. Oh, here we go. Okay. You know, your facility, your little building there you got there. It's not just a building. It is a temple for the good future for everyone. Oh, yeah, shit. That's not really my point. <laughs> the thing is that your association and the other people outside there. There is nothing that my association would have against any of the people. Okay. Strange. What's the deal of your workers? Because Maybe you're not involved, but perhaps Unintelligible. one or a group of your workers, because a crew member of the area stage reported seeing one of them close to the area where the murder incident occurred. Oh, wow. My workers, see here, my workers are quite diligent. They would not want to do anything that would affect their superior work. Really, though? We run the business smoothly. Only people like you here would want to seek trouble that we are not associated with. Are uh, you absolutely sure of this? <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, sometimes I've seen people. So does this guy actually know his workers as well as what he's saying, though? That's the question. Because at the end of the day, they can, they can be different in a workplace than in actually in person. So, quite confusing. But he trusts them, though, which is understandable. But... Yeah, people can be different on the in and the outside, so um, I guess this guy's trying to kind of get out of him. But, uh, yeah. Would uh, want to lose their jobs in order to get something much more of a bigger word. Mmm. Whatever. Seems fine. Of that would seem... Yeah, but that's not really what we're seeking. Uh, well... I believe that will be all that. Very well done. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day, sir. 
Okay, so I'm I'm kind of confused right now. I don't really know what that nothing's really come out of that, has it? It was kind of just a very brief conversation. Now whether it gets more into it, I don't know. But that was very brief, wasn't it? Very brief. Yeah. Good thing. Quite scary though. How did we go? I'm worrying. That was a very hard meeting with him. It's almost as like he was grinning behind that helmet up to his. Oh. Yeah, well, well, we can't really prove anything else about the bullets. Because everyone seems to be under a mm. We just have to keep watch. We don't know how we're going to go. So, yeah. Damn it. It's already a case. Oh, wow. Because, um. The murders. It's something about our codes, but it's not going to work. We have to. Just, uh, Look at those images, bro. Ugh. Whoa, that was a bit qu creepy. Welcome to the Janitor Association Maintenance Work Tutorial. Oh, God, here we go. Janitor. Okay, so normally we have sort of like a police ranger or something like that. Or like that'd be like a call center sort of one where you obviously the calls come in. So the Mandela catalog comes, it kind of comes into this. But I like how this guy, or the, sorry, the, the, the creator, moved this on to a janitor association. I don't think I've seen this before, honestly. Sorry. Very unique. Before you start your work, you will run through four main rules of the classic maintenance job list to complete. Okay. Step one, always have a broom and a bucket of water handy. Okay. Step two, go. If I ever want to be a cleaner, or if any of you want to be cleaners, or even just maintenance, just watch this, and you'll get the whole job put in one. So we, you can go to an interview, and you can just turn around and go, I watched uh, this YouTuber called I'm Rats, and I watched a uh, janitor tutorial of how to do the job, and then just link them and get them to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, consider it, because I do a lot of analog horror here. Thought I'd plug that in. Go to a place needy of cleanup. Step three. Take out your brain and dip it in your water bucket. What the hell? Step three, take out your brain and dip it into your water bucket? What? Step four. Oh, shit. There's like a dead body down there. Oh, whoa, bruh. That is freaked out, freaky, bro. What? That... That looks horrible. Why did they let him go? Why are they blind? Yeah, that's what I thought. The guy seems so fucking sus. Those eyes are creepy. Find him before it's too late. Or he kills again. Blatantly. Whoa! My God, man. That was loud. That was so loud. Shit, dude. Woo. Okay. No. It seems that our partnership must end here. No, sir. I didn't get this. I just spill one scut. Did I? Whoa! Oh my God, man! <laughs> uh, that laugh, bro. Oh. Oh, that face, dude. Oh. Wow, dude. That was very, very well done. Oh my god. I think that I'm sure this is the first person this creator's first ever unlock horror, but that was very cool. Wow. Um it wasn't very generic either, because obviously we do there are quite a lot of generic unlock horror series that are made if someone makes a new like makes their first one and stuff like that. But that was really good. I really enjoyed that. And it was creepy as well. There was a few jump scares. There was a good story at the start of it, and then we get into the janitor. Um tutorial very cool um so the association must be like a, a clean and maintenance company which is really cool um i do hope that a volume two comes out because this isn't finished 
I think there's a lot more to it, and there's a lot more that could be done. So let's hope the creator does uh, make some more. But um, yeah, guys, make sure to go and subscribe to their channel and like their video and say that I passed you over to them, okay? Let them know that I'm rats passed you over. Because uh, this, this, this uh, series needs some attention, for real. It really does. And uh, I really enjoy making the video. So if you guys enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also please like the video. It ha does help me with the algorithm. And I will catch you guys on the next video. And as always, as always peace out, y'all.